everyone, it's Krista. I'm here today to make some rosehip tea with you. Rosehip tea is full of vitamin C and a great drink to have either warm or cold um, to help support your immune system and support your white blood cells in doing their job in fighting any virus or infection that you might be, um, might be exposed to these days. So we thought that it would be a great drink for you to make at home with your family and I just wanted to go through the video with you so you can uh, so you can see how to make it, you can make it together. Let's start by going through with your equipment that you need. A kettle, it can either be a stove top or a plug-in. You'll need a small jar to put ginger juice and lemon juice and rosehip powder in to mix it before putting it into a large jar, which you can serve it from. You'll need some cool water and some hot water that's being cooled right now. Honey, we're using a wildflower honey, ginger, a knob of ginger, and a rasp, which is basically just a, a grater with small holes in it. Um, some sort of lemon juicer. I have this lemon juicer. You can use a fork, um, or people have the wooden lemon juicer, and of course, lemon, enough to make two tablespoons of juice. Um, a knife. If you need to cut the lemon or the ginger, a peeler to peel the ginger. You can also use a spoon to peel the ginger and some rosehip powder. If you don't have rosehip powder, you can use any kind of rosehip tea. Uh, at the grocery store, you can get rosehip with hibiscus tea. Tea stores have that as well. Bulk stores will have that as well. It's quite popular to get rosehip and hibiscus together. Um, so you can use that if you want it and just steep it um, in the warm water and then put the rest of the ingredients in it. The first thing we're going to do is grate our ginger. And then when you're grating the ginger, you just go up and down. Make sure you keep your fingers away. So you grate it, lots of your fingers, um, and, and you'll see it on the back of the rasp. You just gather it all together. Gather all the ginger from the back of the rasp and from the small jar, you just squeeze it in. Put some ginger juice in there. The next ingredient is the lemon. You can squeeze the lemon on the squeezer or with your fork until you have two tablespoons of lemon juice and that goes into the jar. And then the next one is the honey. And I take two tablespoons of honey and add it to the jar. Then I'm going to add my rosehip powder. I give it a, a mix in a smaller jar first. You can put it in a measuring cup or, um, or a glass and just mix it together. I find that um, when I mix it with the less of the liquid, then it works, um, it works better uh, to, uh, to take the lumps out. There we go. And then I'll add just a little bit of the liquid in here. I just added some of the cool water in here. Okay, it's nicely mixed up. Got my jar, and in my jar, I add the slurry. I think it's slurry, I like that word. The slurry and the cool water. You have a delicious tea that's high in vitamin C, which are anti-inflammatories. It's got honey in it, which is an antiviral, a ginger, which is a warming spice, which can help your body fight off infections, uh, and it's delicious. 
Uh, so enjoy your tea. I hope that you have a chance to make it at home and follow us along with more Earth Bites videos. We look forward to seeing you again soon.